guys welcome back so I mentioned in my last vlog that I really wanted to do stuff other than just dog grooming stuff all the time so I am doing some Halloween kind of shopping today I'm gonna be having a party next month and I wanted to go ahead and start getting like decorations and like tablecloths and like little stuff maybe like plates and everything oh I should go to the dollar store and see if they have any cute Halloween plates that would be fun um so I just want to get like like go ahead and start getting some stuff so it's not like I've got to spend like $300 all at once you know I like to kind of plan it out that's why I like to shop early um so anyway I'm at my favorite coffee shop right now um they're a local shop they're called Maple Bakery there you go thank you Bye, have a good one um Maple Bakery and Coffee House and this is the caramel apple butter latte from them, you guys. So good. If you're ever in Williamston, South Carolina, it's a little tiny town. Um, but that's where I live. And this is better than Starbucks. I'm not even gonna lie. I love a good pumpkin spice latte. But this caramel caramel apple butter latte, I'm not even an apple person, you guys. Normally, because I, I don't like, like the apple crisp or whatever. Starbucks has like a macchiato that's like apple and I don't like that one but this one I really like it's not very apple-y you know what though I did try that macchiato this year I got like a tall of it from Starbucks and it was actually pretty good so I guess I shouldn't say that but typically I'm not an apple flavor kind of person but I guess because it's apple butter it's not super strong and as you see it's got like the caramel this is so delicious so anyway if I'm off or honestly even if I'm working if I'm around and I can uh, go to the coffee shop. I'm going to the coffee shop because I love it and they're actually a little bit cheaper than Starbucks Like this is the biggest size they do and this was $5.94 I think she said and the pumpkin spice from Starbucks like, Do I have a booger? <laughs> We'd have to stop. Um, but the pumpkin spice from Starbucks uh, I think is almost seven dollars now for the venti latte so Anyway, I'm headed over to the first stop. It's going to be non-Halloween related, but I need eyelash glue. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Walgreens real quick and get my eyelash glue. Um, and then we'll check back in. Alright, so Walgreens actually did not have my eyelash glue. And my eyes are sensitive, so there's like I have to use like specific glue to make sure that my eyes don't start watering. and <laughs> basically cry my eyelashes off. So I'm going to go ahead and head next door to Dollar Tree and then I'm just going to add um, Ulta to the list and there's like another Walgreens and a CVS out there too so if Ulta doesn't have it, hopefully in all the places I'm planning on going I will find it but we will check in at Dollar Tree. If you saw my vlog the other day, you heard me talk about Mitch Munster, and I have to give that girl so much credit because it was so awkward being in that store filming. I wanted to talk, but you could probably hear it was like dead silent. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is once I'm done uh, getting everything that I want, I'll sit down and do a haul. That's what she does is like she'll do like she'll show all of her stops or whatever, and then at the end she does like everything she got and I see why she's doing that because I think it'll be more time efficient rather than in between each stop 
that I show you what I got, you know? But I think Dollar Tree, now that they charge more than a dollar, I think they have better stuff now. Because before, it was like, a lot of the stuff was like, I like, I hate to say it, it was kind of like junk. Like, it was like stuff that was like kind of plastic throw away or whatever. But now, I feel like they have a lot more good stuff. So, I thought, and they had like everything fully stocked, you could see. I mean, I live in a tiny town, and I don't think this is like a Halloween kind of town. Um, so, everything was like really full. They had lots of cute stuff. I got some stuff that I'm like really excited about. So, uh, yeah, I think next stop is going to be Big Lots because I saw in Mitch Munster's video that they had a lot of really good stuff too. So, next stop will be Big Lots, and then um, we'll go from there. Alright you guys, so I just left Big Lots and I actually went to a second Dollar Tree uh, because, actually let me get my money straight, I'm bad about like when I'm at the register, I'll just shove everything in my wallet just to get out of everybody's way. Anyway, uh, I went to second Dollar Tree because, like I said, I forgot the cups, so I got some cups, I got some bowls because we don't really have like a full list of like what we're going to be making yet, so I thought, well, you know, we might need some bowls too. So anyway, um, I'm going to run, there's a Panera right here. I never really eat out anymore, um, but I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to treat myself and go get some Panera, and then we're going to run over to Ulta and see if they have my eyelash glue. Uh, and then we'll check back in and uh, hopefully that that'll be about it for our shopping day All right, so let's go into everything. I got today. I ended up getting many more than I thought I would So let's start with the first Dollar Tree purchase. I'm gonna try to go in order um, I have all the receipts too so I can tell you how much everything was so first thing I got is just a plain black tablecloth um, to just throw on whenever I have my get together. The next thing I got, the tablecloth, that was $1.25. Um, all of this stuff was except for one thing, and I'll tell you the more expensive thing. So I got these little pumpkins next. I just thought those were so adorable, and I'm gonna have like the tablecloth and everything, so I'll just kind of put them around the table, like in between the food and stuff. I thought that was really cute. Next thing you guys kind of saw, I got the party pack of the black silverware and then I got plain black pla plain black plates uh, and I only got one pack the first stop I went to and kind of after I left I was like I probably should have gotten more than one so I did end up getting another one now this was five dollars but look how cute with the little skeleton hand holding I loved that I definitely thought it was worth the five dollars so um, oh, it's a bleeding candle. I didn't even notice that. Look, that is cute. If you guys can find this at uh, your local Dollar Tree, I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to put the party stuff up and I'll put it to the side in separation, but the candle I'm going to go ahead and put out and then I'll probably burn it. I wasn't going to burn it, but now that I know it's a bleeding candle, I think I will burn it for the party because that's too cute. Okay, so next stop was Big Lots. I only got a couple things. Um, and again, everything was $1.25 and the candle was five. So I spent $10.70 at the first stop. The next stop was Big Lots. Yeah, here's my coupon. And she said I've got, or not my coupon, this is my receipt. And she told me I have coupons. Oh yeah, $10 off your next purchase of $40 or more. $5 off your purchase of 15 or more. Okay, so I see what she's saying. She was like, you need to uh, save that and get your candy with it. Good point. I don't get trick-or-treaters where I'm at. I'm not in a neighborhood, but I am gonna get some candy for the party. Just like one little bag, just in case somebody wants to snack on things. Let me move that out of the frame. Okay, 
So the first thing I got are these panda cookies. And this is the Halloween ones. Like, I don't know if you can see. Oh, look on the back. Can you see that? Those are all the little, like, so they're all in costumes. Isn't that so adorable? I feel like everybody loves these panda cookies. And these were $4.49. So totally reasonable for this big pack. So I'll put that in the candy bowl with the other candy so that my guests can grab up some little cookies if they want them. Um, the next thing I got is actually another tablecloth. I got the plain black one first, but then I saw this one. I just really liked it. Hopefully y'all can see that. And it's a little bit nicer quality. This one was $5. Um, but I just thought that was really nice. And I may use the smaller or like the plain black tablecloth. I have an island counter and I kind of think I might put it there. But we'll see. And then the next thing I got, or last thing I got. Yeah, I said everything. Um, is this cookie cutter set. This was $4.99. And they had two different ones, but I really liked this one because I liked this spider cookie cutter. I don't know if I'm going to make cookies for the Halloween party or not, but I was like, well, this is something that, like, at some point I know I will use. So, some basic cookie cutters. Um, my grandma passed away a few years ago, and I got, like, all of her baking stuff because my mom basically had baking stuff, and I did not. And, uh, anyway, I, um... I'm gonna leave these cookie cutters out because they're not necessarily party stuff per se but anyway so I've got like a KitchenAid mixer and like a ton of different baking things so I thought you know what maybe I'll make some cookies and cut out cookies that'd be fun okay so the next place I went was to the second Dollar Tree oh let me actually show you this really quick I find I did find my eyelash glue this is my favorite one by Duo I think this was $7.49 I did an email receipt to my, I think it's $6.99 and $7.41 after tax. Um, but I really like this clear with the um, little brush. That is my favorite lash glue. So I did finally find that. I knew Ulta would have it. The CVS Walgreens, they're kind of like hit or miss. Like sometimes they're sold out of what I need. Um, but Ulta usually has all the glue. So I got another stack of plates because like I said, I kind of realized after the first job, I was like, probably should have gotten more than one pack because I don't, I don't know exactly how many people are going to be coming yet. So I want to make sure everybody has enough plates. So I got that. I got like a little thing of bowls because we haven't fully decided like what we're making yet. So figured we may end up needing bowls. Oh, and all of this stuff. I don't think I threw my receipt in here. Um, but I think every single thing was like $1.25. Um, yeah, I didn't get anything fancy at this one. I actually got two of these cups, just plain black to go with the theme. And then I got these napkins that they match the plate. Are they pretty? You know, for throwaway stuff, I just thought that was really pretty. So I think it was like seven or eight dollars for all this stuff. So that was all I got from the second Dollar Tree. And then lastly, I went to Home Goods and I didn't film anything in Home Goods because they had music playing like really loud the whole time and I knew it would be in the background. And I'm not very, I haven't gotten used to doing voiceovers and like I don't like how my voice sounds back on them. Like it's different because like I read things weird. Like I'll be like, and then at Big Lots, and I, I don't know, it's just, I don't like how I do my voiceovers, so I'm still learning. Um, but anyway, so the next thing I got was this big candy dish. It is already done, so it says I Wuff Candy on the inside. I know a lot of people don't like that, um, the, the hidden words on the Ray Done, but I just loved the dogs in the Halloween costumes. Obviously, I'm a dog groomer. Um, and that was just too cute. And this is nice. This was only $10. And I was like, you know what? I can use this for years, you know? So I really like this candy dish. So I'll be putting those little panda snacks and, uh, whatever other candy I end up getting in there. Now, the next thing I found at Home Goods, oh, and yeah, that was $9.99. Home Goods receipt. So the next thing I got... Oh, they don't have anything, um, it's all, like, listed really weird. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're $4.99, and it's these straws, and can you see those little bats on them? 
and they're like the bats have like a spider web printed on them they are so cute and the spiral straws like to go with the black cups isn't that so cute i love i saw these at the checkout counter whenever i was checking down at home goods so i had to have those and then lastly this is not party stuff but mitch munster um had made a video and she's showing some of like the cooking stuff that she gets that she uses year round and she'll buy it like around Halloween and I was like man that's a good idea so I wanted to get some stuff that I could use year round um kind of at a point in my life I have a house now and like I, it's fully furnished so now I'm like more into like the decorating aspect so I really wanted some cute stuff to decorate with so I got this I really just wanted this um, spatula thing because I use these with the like plastic a lot like because I like making like pasta and stuff like that and it's really good for like sauce and everything to scrape up all of it you know so I really just wanted this <clears throat> but it came with this cookie cutter too it's a nice one like here is it compared to the Kohl's or not Kohl's where'd that come from Big Lots so it's like a little bit bigger a little bit more distinct skull like shape so I thought that was cute had to have it um next I got this for my soup ladle or not soup ladles but like you know when you're baking and then you like you have a spoon or whatever you need to put it down um that's what this is for I thought that would be good year round it's not uh to Halloween like like you could use it at Halloween but it won't look out of place year round so and this is a hand wash only in case you're wondering and this was $4.99 and this was also $4.99 I don't think I said that so these two skull like things thought they were fun and then the next thing I felt like this was the best deal actually this is the last thing I got I just realized um but I thought this was a really good deal <laughs> I just realized how many cookie cutters I got. I really just wanted the set. Um, so I love this spatula. And then I think this is a nice um, pan. Or what, what do you call this? I don't know. I'm a noob in this department. I'm still learning all the cooking things. But yeah, baking sheet. I think that's what it's called. Either way, so there's that. And then more cookie cutters. Did I get some repeats? Oh no, I actually did pretty good. So I've got an, a spider web and the spider. I got a cat and a bat. Yeah, I don't have a cat or a bat or a cat or a bat or <laughs> I don't have a cat or a bat over here. So that's perfect. So I can make, I maybe I'll have to make cutout cookies since I got so many cookie cutters. That was not intentional. Um, really, I bought this because I wanted this skull scraper thing for the same reason as the happy halloween one i liked this ba uh baking sheet i guess um and it, this was uh, 9.99 for all of this and i thought that was a really good price for that so anyway that was all the stuff i got today um i really ended up getting way more than i planned i was like i'll just spend like 40 dollars i think i spent like 80 dollars all said and done but that's okay because um we had like sorry let me we had like my family birthday party yesterday and me and my sister's birthday is all like back to back to back so uh I ended up getting some money last night for my birthday so I was like let me get some stuff that I really want to get and this like stuff I can use year round that was really what I went to home goods for so Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this shopping slash Halloween haul. I have to say this is probably one of the most fun videos for me that I've done in a long time. Um, I really, really enjoyed this. Like, I love doing the dog grooming stuff and everything. Don't get me wrong, but, like, that feels more like work <laughs> because it is my job. Um, but this was, like, really fun and I really, really enjoyed this. So, um, if you guys enjoyed too, let me know. I definitely want to do more vlog type videos. I'm going out of town next week and I'll be in Gatlinburg in Pigeon Forge and I really want to do some vlogs while I'm out there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.